Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the Sunday Vape Lounge with myself, Roy's Reviews, and Vapor Bunny. And today Hi. we are joined by a very special guest, Simon. Hello. Hello. Mr. Corlito. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome and good afternoon. How are we this afternoon, folks? Hi, Craig. How are you, Bonnie? I'm very well, thank you, Roy. How are you? I'm bad. And how are you, Simon? I'm very well. Nervous. Excited. Uh, <laughs> don't need what to be nervous. I, I, don't, I don't bite. I can't <laughs> speak I, I, for I, I, him, I, but I, I don't bite. Yeah. <laughs> very Hi, first ever live show. It's not. Well, no, no. With other people. Yeah. Well, you went live. You went live on your Facebook the other day, and you went absolutely fantastic. Are you okay, Andy? Hi, Andy. And for those that don't know, this is the product of his design and hard labour. Hi, William. But we'll get more onto that as the show goes on, and we get a few more people in, and and we'll chat on. We'll we'll chat about it and get everything up. But I'll just do this first of all. Okay, I can't type in live chat for some reason. <laughs> Technical difficulties as usual. You hear it wouldn't be our show if it wasn't a bit messed up, would it? No. There's it. always a disaster of epic proportions on this show. <laughs> so we'll see if this works straight away. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. How are you? Hi, Steve, Dave. Hello. Okay. Normally would ask the guests first, but ladies first, I suppose, first of all. Hi, Bill. Um, no. Simon, no. what are you vaping? <laughs> <coughs> Loves me, really. Yeah. Bonnie, what are you vaping on? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a few on the go today. I've got everybody's favourite, the Hex, with uh, the Goon. And in that, I've got some pixie dust from Rude Boy. I have also got Hi, Daniel. my very sexy gold G class. Hi, Daniel. And with the Goon 1.5 on top of that, and I've got some Fuji Paradise from uh, Vape Cocktails in there. And I'm going to make Zan cry now because I have my Sirius with the Asmodus Voluna on top of that, and I have some of this rather yummy Ribena Bliss from uh, Rude Boy, which Zan is running out of and is probably going to murder me for waving that at him on screen. Hey, so. Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Simon, what are, what are, what are you vaping on today? <clears throat> so, I actually, I'm going to copy you, well, copy you to a certain extent, because uh, I've got my... Um, <laughs> I've just Serious. Just from that. <laughs> See, uh, with the, yeah. Isn't that so sexy? <laughs> it is really nice, and I've got the uh, the Wake RTA on top of that, and in there I am vaping on. You can see that or not? King's King's King custard. custard. Yeah, which is really really nice. That's pretty much my all day vape. Uh, that and anything by Just Jam. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa. Just I waved at Teresa, and she'll be back at us. <laughs> Sorry, um, right, Teresa, I do that all the time. <laughs> right. And and also I have my Osmodus Spruzzer. Yeah. Ooh. With um not the stabwood panels, because I had problems with those. Um and I just jam lemon sponge. Which Ooh. I've just tried for the first time today. Really, really nice. Uh, Gail in chat is very much into her lemons, so you might want to wave that bottle past her again. That will be one she'll probably go and buy. <laughs> there you go. There you go, really, Gail. Just for you, babe. Really very nice. No, Steve, Dave, I'm not hungover. I was driving. <clears throat> no, we are not hungover at all. <laughs> Gail bought lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gail, lemon. <laughs> Yes, Gail is technically our lemon aficionado. See, I I vape quite a lot. I, I was big into the okay. Dinner Lady lemon tart when it first came out, um, and I I think I vaped so much of it that I just lost the love for lemon altogether. 
Um, mm. And that's I think that lemon sponge is the first lemon liquid that I've had for a, a long, long time. Really nice. Cool. Hiya, Simon. Well, I suppose it's me now, is it? Yes, be your turn now. I'm on my D-Box 200 with the drop on top. Mm -hmm. With freshly fresh coils put in today, using the coily tool. There you are. And Gail will probably hate me now. Hey, John. I've got donut, dude. Lemon glazed donut in that. <laughs> and um, I've also got my Stevie. Oh, that way. Yep, that way. We got we got a leak. With the Vigo Leap dripper on top of that. Hey, Maggie. And in that, I've got some vape cocktails, pop cola. That's Simon. That range of um, vape cocktails is amazing. Is it? Yeah. I'm always. I've got a, a shelf full of juice, and I tend to keep buying it. And I'll, I'll vape a bit, and then I'll move on to something else. So, always on the lookout for anything. Anything That's really nice. Hitting, Guilty. Hitting the UK. <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> yeah. It's only it's only hit in the UK in um, this, this week. All oh, right, I should I, keep an eye out for that. I was the first reviewer in the world to get my hands on it. Yeah. <laughs> Not that you'd gloat or anything, eh, babe? I, I, I'll swap you for all the colours of the coiling. Well, I'm getting more of it sent across. So actually, I'll send you some across. <laughs> I will do. I'll send you. I'll get you some sent across. No problem with that. At all. Um. Is he sending me more of it out? God, right. I missed anybody in chat? So I've only got the two on, two on the go at the minute. But we did go last night um, to a, a launch of a new juice line um, at a vape meet over here in Northern Ireland at Bender Vapes. And oh, I'll just give them a, a quick plug while we're here. Love the vape range. That's three of them. There's Crystal, Monkey Crunch, like bananas. I love love banana juices. Well, nah. that, that Monkey Crunch one you will definitely love. That yeah. is beautiful. Awesome stuff. Um, purple, purple Nurple. <laughs> uh, and then you've got Harry Berry, Candy Crush. And very mellow, but um, they do they sort of fill all the, they make all the juices themselves and then fill the bottles themselves. That's why it's even down to handwritten batch numbers. Well, I mean, so they're a bit like yourself in the the fact that you are um, self startups. Yeah, we uh, vape mate we were at last night it was. Basically, the live launch of that juice, and yeah, yeah I sampled every single one of them and <laughs> loved, loved every single one of them so much that I bought every single one of them. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. So, for those in chat that don't know, um, you may see it says Coily Tool up on um, Simon's top corner, and also on the vape, or also on the, the cast screen down the bottom left-hand corner. Simon, we've plagiarized your Coily Tool red right mark picture. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to put it on there, Simon um, is the inventor, inventor, manufacturer, and all things coily tool, which is this little tool here. If anybody hasn't got one that actually builds their own, that makes their own coils or puts their own coils into the buildables, you have to have it. It's an it's a must for your toolbox. That is. Oh, right, Williams on. Espresso tank and drag refresher bar waiting in it delivery from TJ white pink stuff on route. Is that coming out in the um the carry, William? <laughs> Daniel wants a coily, please <laughs> Get into the group. Yeah, get into the group and every every Monday night at eight o'clock, isn't it? 
It is, yeah, 8 o'clock GMT. I have to say that because there's so many people coming in from America and Canada and, and Eastern Europe and all over the place that it's uh, it's difficult to... Teresa, they will be going wholesale whenever they're, they're actually getting the moulds and that made at the minute, isn't that right? Yeah, so can I just say hello to Jay's Vape Reviews. I apologise, Jay, because I'm, I'm really bad at looking at this chat. This is the first time I've looked at live chat and, and used, used this stuff, so I apologise if I'm not saying hello to anybody. Um, yeah, so... We've we're or we're getting them produced now. They're in production. Um, we're getting the units injected, molded. We've got uh, injection molded. We've got a large order uh, being made. Um, so that will negate the need for for the group pretty much. Um, however, I'll probably still do special colours on the group once they arrive. We're hoping. Uh, I think we're getting our first injection molded sample through at the end of this month. Um, and I think the manufacturing process after that is a matter of weeks, so it's it's in progress. So it, it it honestly it breaks my heart every week when I see you know I put I put the post up in the group to allocate the ten, and by the time I've hit post on the Facebook uh, post, it's, it's too late. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. it gets to sort of anything between fifteen and twenty five before I can close the comments off on it, and and I just feel terrible. And it will be so easy to go through and say, yeah, go on, I'll let you off. I'll, I'll let you all have one. But I just, I can't. I, I can't make them. Each one takes about uh, seven hours to make. I'm doing them three at a time at the moment. So it's about 21, 21 hours uh, for three for three units. So it's it's really difficult to get any more out, much as I would, I would love to. But um, Teresa in chat there, Simon, owns two shops in Belfast. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean... We're, we're looking, we, we've not actively started looking for vendors yet, but we will be. Um, and if anybody is interested in, in uh, taking them, we're looking at obviously wholesale prices on the units. Um, so obviously please please get in touch um, because it, it will be something we'll be doing as soon as we get this, this big order through. Well, I'll be, um, I'll be pimping around all the shops in Northern Ireland anyway for you. Thank you, Roy. Much appreciated. As, as you know, I have, since, I've, since I've seen this tool and I've had it, I've done nothing but rave about it. It's I can vouch for that. I'm going to have a little photo of you, Roy, put onto the tag that I send out. And yeah, to be yeah. to be honest, Simon, I feel like I've known you for years already, <laughs> and this is the first time we've met. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how much he's been raving about your product, and I I don't blame him. It's an absolutely amazing idea. Thank I'm you. not a I'm not a professional builder by any means, and I will I will always state that and everything else. But I do like I enjoy the fact that you know. My coils don't even die before I change them out. I I just I like making the coils. And I like putting them into builds. Yeah. And the coil tool has just made my life help so much easier because before I was having legs that were different lengths, the two sets of the coils were different lengths. It meant the fact they were firing off at different times and everything else. Mm. This morning I put them in, put coils into this. Within what five seconds, they were both yeah. firing perfectly together. And yeah, there was no messing about. You know, it was just pop the man, fire it, good to go. <laughs> I think this is the thing. Different people are, are sort of telling me different things, things that I've not even thought about. I mean, people use it in different ways. Um, so the, the one thing I never did um, when I first started uh, was to sort of do a, a, an instruction manual. Uh, and some people have said, how do I use it? Uh, I didn't do a, a tutorial. Mark at, at Nature Vape did a really good uh, tutorial. I think it was about a 20-minute long tutorial where he took you through all the different things that you can do with it. Um, and I should add, Mark is somebody who I've, I've partnered up with to get the manufacturing done as well because it's quite an expensive process uh, to do the, the injection moulding, which is why Mark has so many on his, on his website. Um, but he did a really good tutorial when he first got it and took took people through the whole process of using it. But so many different people have come up with different sort of benefits of it. I mean, even me this morning, I mean, I, I, I wear glasses when I'm building. Um, and I was watching, was it Scuba, I think, a couple of weeks ago, and he's got one of these big battery-operated headsets with magnifying glasses on it. Yeah, I, I, need, was, I need one of those. It's, it's, I thought it was a great idea. So I actually bought, I think it was, it was about 12 quid off Amazon for one of those. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I wear glasses and, and sort of trying to see getting the coils the same length. And even this morning, I was I was just, I think I was building my um, dead rabbit. And the fact that I could actually take the coil, you put the coil in it, and then bend down towards the bin and just snip the legs off straight into the bin, uh, it, it, you know, it meant I'm not going to have a little shih tzu dog. 
uh, and I'm terrified that he's going to stand on the little bits of the coil. So even little things like that, that you know, a small benefit, but it stops you your coil legs springing all over the place. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's, there's there's so many different things, and people as well with sort of difficulty using their hands. Um, you know, whether it be carpal tunnel or rheumatism, arthritis, that sort of thing. Apparently, that you know, people are saying it's it's just made it so much easier. It's, I have got some issues in my hands because I've broken my fingers over the over Doesn't the years. Top that we heat all my your stuff already. It, it just helps helps me when it, when it comes to it because it's, it is just a matter of slipping them in. My biggest thing was always getting the first coil in, yeah, and then putting the second coil in, then having to either take the first coil out or move it around and trying to get in the snippet and everything else. That I was that was the awkward bit getting to the second one when you had the first one already oh, installed. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, when I when I first started working on coily, it was aimed primarily at postless decks. That was why I did it. Um, I think I got the first postless deck that I got was the Dot Mods uh, 24 RTA, uh -huh. um, and I was putting a. I mean, they weren't massively expensive, but you know, sort of five pound a pair set of coils into it, uh, and I just snipped them snipped them too short. Um, and I couldn't get them to, to tighten in properly, and I just thought there must just be a, so much an easier way to do this. And I was watching people on reviews, and they were saying, you know, if you get your little geek vape triangle screwdriver and measure it the length of the, you know, the actual screwdriver bit, and snip your coil at that, and then put it onto your your coil master jig, and then snip the other leg at the same length. And I thought this is ridiculous. You know, I've got to m remember which tool that I measured it with next time I did it. Yeah. So, so that was the reason that I did it in the first place, and it, it went then went. went I have a, a group, uh, a smaller group, where there was a, a team of about twenty people um, who tested coily from beginners right the way up to experienced coil builders and vapors and everything else. And it was them that came up with the idea of you know you could use this for for posted debts as well, velocity whatever, uh, which is why the little notches are now on the side of it. Um, and, and I'm finding that more people are getting the benefit for posted decks than than the postless ones. So, well, Vape City Review, who's going to be joining us now in a couple of minutes, has actually asked two questions. You've answered, you basically answered one of them. All right. One of them said, is it targeted for is it targeted for beginners to coil in? But I think it's for everybody. Absolutely not. And and I think this is one of the big um, hurdles that I need to get over um, because. Some people see it as a as a beginner's tool, um, and I, I've spoken to some people who are experienced builders, and they said, "Nope, no, nope, no, nope, it's not for me, not for me. It's it's not something I want. You know, I, I want to go and pick twigs off an old oak tree and and wrap my coils around those. You know, it's it's a beginner's tool. Not interested." Oh, look, um, look at look at Mr. Showoff here in his green screen behind him, broadcasting <laughs> live from like New York or somewhere. Does that look like? I thought it would change things up a wee bit. There's that's this is Daniel Simon. Simon Simon meet Daniel Daniel meet Simon. Hi Daniel. Nice, nice to meet you. Well, uh, good to meet you. The other I can only pop in for you. a wee bit. I can only pop in for about ten minutes, but I wanted to get on to say hello for the see the, the genius behind the coily. <laughs> exactly. Genius now. <laughs> there's another, another question for you that that I nearly missed, which was, do you have um, a patent in place? So we have. Uh, various protection uh, um, things in place um, we the thing with any any anything like this is you have to be able to to fight it so uh, if somebody copies the design or whatever you have to have the funds behind you to be able to fight that process um, so we have what we consider to be the best uh, protection policies in place for at the moment uh, without spending you know hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, to, to get it covered and the other thing is you know it's never going to make me a millionaire um, it's never going to make anybody else a millionaire uh, like you, even like price, sorry at the, price, at the price you sell it for mm -hmm. uh, which I, me personally I think is is cheap for what it you know for what it is yeah for the amount of work and design you put into that the fact that you're saying that it takes seven hours was it seven hours? Yeah, and I think the the, the thing to remember is it se isn't seven hours of my time. So I don't I don't sit and watch the printer for for seven hours. Um, we it's literally. The of, it's the fact of the three D printer. It's the fact of the the, the materials. Everything mm -hmm. else. The, the the fact you have to set it all up and everything else and all your marketing and everything else going into it. It's six at five ninety nine, is nothing. No, and I think the thing thing was to keep it cost effective. You know, I know I know people do three D mods and. 
you know, 200, 300 pound a pulp for a 3D mod, which is, is fine. Somebody's put a lot of time and effort into that. But for me, it has to be something that's, you know, I'm, I'm, I class myself as being very passionate about the vape community. Um, and I've only been in it for, what, two and a half years, something like that. But I just love the whole community thing. I, I used to be a biker, and I get that same um, feeling of camaraderie amongst the majority of the vape community. I know it has its dramas and everything else, but... Snap! <laughs> yeah. I'm very much into my biking as well. Yeah. Simon, um, did you expect it to take off uh, just I, as, as much as it did? Or no. was, when you first done this, was this for yourself and friends, or was the whole plan for it to go as well, maybe semi big in the in the community? It was something that um, I saw. I, I had the idea, and and I talked to my son about it, who's who also vapes, um, and I said, I just think this would be a really good idea. And he said, Yeah, you just just try it and just go for it and, and see what see what happens. And I expected to be maybe selling sort of two or three a week, something like that. If, if I was lucky, it was it wasn't something that I expected I was going to be, you know, absolutely stacked out, printing the thing twenty four seven, and you know, sort of sat on a group trying to fight people off. Um, but no, I, I absolutely didn't, and and it has been overwhelming. But I think the thing is that everybody that I've um, spoken to, everybody that's in the group. Um, people that approach me, the feedback's been really good, the support's been really good. I'm, I'm very much open to critique, I'm very much open to people to come and say to me, you know, have you thought about doing this? I don't really like this that you do. So that can only make the product better. But everybody yeah. that I've spoken to has just been so supportive, so positive. I've had feedback from different people. Um, yeah, Jay's fake reviews, he gave me a couple of ideas that we can look at. Um, it's really refreshing to see and it's like innovation that hasn't came from one of the, the big manufacturers. You know, yeah. and, and innovation in my eyes has been pretty much dead over the last sort of 12 months with vaping. Yeah. And for, for that type of innovation to come from a vapor, you know, and for it to start so small and to just explode, it, it's brilliant the way it's really took off. Yeah, and it, it's funny because I didn't, I didn't really see it as innovation. Um, I saw it, as, yeah. as I said... No, no, I, I just sort of saw it as, as this is something that, that's could work, it could be useful, um, and, and it's like I said, the, the response has just been totally overwhelming, totally unexpected. Basically, um, you just had an idea, you ran yeah. with it, and it's just gone viral. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Just a couple of things in chat there, um, Simon's come up with, to be controversial, he still doesn't, <laughs> he still doesn't get it unless you're a beginner or have medical issues, because you can do one coil at a time, measure off that, is this not the part of fun of build, and Trial. Uh, no, trial and error. error. But me personally, as a as a, a novice builder, vapor, and everything else, even getting that first coil right. Yes, you can cut it off the second coil, but getting that first coil right, and there's times when I'm trying pushed, either wanting to go to a show or having to go to work or something like that, and maybe a coil dies or one of the coils, it cuts down that time for me. That's I understand where you're coming from, Simon. Um, He's an avid builder. <clears throat> See, I thought initially when I first seen it, I haven't got one. The so I, I can't give an opinion on it. Hint, hint. You but, get in touch with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, get in touch. But when 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 I first seen it, my initial thought was, I, I couldn't work out what the reasoning was. You know, unless obviously it was was is this marketed for beginners to make snipping coils a bit easier? What I would love to see is, do you know, the, a tool piece somehow embedded into the coily, maybe a removable tool piece, so it's it's like an all in one. And in, um, in my eyes, I thought maybe that maybe that'd be a bit useful. Maybe. Yeah, and no, I, I sort of see where you're coming from, and the, and there is a lot of things. I mean, the, the very first version of coily that nobody ever saw. Um, I'll, I'll probably dig it out when I get a minute. Um, but it had... Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I'm just curious as to what Simon Dearden's calling dibs on were you, Daniel? <laughs> probably the coily that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> but Simon, Simon, you don't like it. <laughs> just to be controversial. <laughs> so yeah, it had a, it had a pin um, in the side of it. And it was used to measure the depths of the postless decks. Um, and it was good. It, it was okay, but it, it became something that was sort of very flimsy. 
Um, I, I consulted with a company who did injection molding, and they said it's going to be really difficult to injection mold this because you've got a hole going in from a different direction to the way the rest of the mold fits. One of the things that nobody ever thinks about, and until you actually start doing it, uh, or working with 3D printing and design and things like that, is you have to design something that is 3D printable. And there's a lot of things that you need to consider when you design something that can be 3D printed. And then you take the step on from that, and it has to be injection moldable as well. Um, and there's a lot of things that you have to take into account when you get something injection moulded. So my view on it was to keep it really simple, as simple as possible, no moving parts, um, just very straightforward. And the thing around the leg links on the poster stack is why we've set the website up. Um, and if you if you go to the website, which is coilytool.co.uk, we've got a, a, a page on there for leg links, and users can actually go on and they can submit their own leg lengths because leg lengths isn't just about you know sort of fitting in the deck it's also about flavor as well you know the dead rabbits a good example of that where you need to get the coils at the coils at a specific height on the deck and you will get better flavor from having it at that specific height um, so people can submit their own leg lengths on the website other people can go and view those leg lengths um, and you know you can get the optimal flavour. I'm, I'm always doing amendments to the website, always trying to improve it. Um, and one of the things I'm going to do over the coming weeks is is add a, a sort of a, a, a rating section on the leg lengths as well, so other users can go on and say, yeah, this was really good. You know, I'll give it five stars, three stars, or whatever. Or you know, you might be better adding another, another millimetre onto it. So that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's, it's one of these things, it's all time. I'm a, a software developer by day, that's my normal day job freelance. Um, so my day job takes up the majority of my time and everything that I do on Coily is done you know, on a night time and, and what time I have on a weekend. Um, so it's, it's trying to get things done and do the improvements in, in sorts of time that, that I've got to do. Is there plans for a V2? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And it's trying to, you know, it's been going for what, about three months now it's, it's been available. Um, so I'm trying to correlate before I go big guns and say right this is going to be what's in version 2 I'm trying to get the feedback from users the, the, the positive feedback, the critique and everything else and try and work out what what would, would benefit and, and the certain things that I'm thinking about of, of how to do it, not necessarily just one unit but you know, sort of various different um, thoughts on, on what the version 2 will consist of it may not just Brilliant. be one piece Brilliant. It sounds fantastic. Uh, I tip my hat to you uh, for, as I said before, for something as, uh, I don't want to say simple because I know an awful lot has went into it on, on your end. But but it is it is simple. That was the intention. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing that one no, no one else thought of it. The big companies didn't think of it. And I just think it's great that, you know, an actual vapor and someone just with, as part of the community was able to come up with something that I've, I haven't seen a product sort of, wouldn't say receive so much hype. Uh, Explode onto the scene. Yeah, I mean, it just snowballed so quickly and has been receiving so much praise. And I also think the fact that it is exclusive sort of adds to it. Mm. It does. Um, I, I mean, obviously going for sort of maybe semi-mass production, which means every oh, vapors are, it's easily accessible. But the fact that it is, isn't is easily accessible at the minute makes it more of a wanted... Very Sorry, uh, Daniel, to cut across you, but I just want to take this moment to say hello, little Jude. How are you, sweetheart? Oh, Jude. Hello, Jude. Jude. Simon, say hello, Jude. Hello, Jude. Yeah, uh, it's John Jude. Nash's little grandson. Um, he loves it when we all say hello to him live <laughs> on cast. So, hi, Jude. And hey, big guns. But, um,. I, I can remember saying it. I can't remember who it was I saw had it. Um, I think it was Vic. Yeah, you were instantly struck by it though, weren't you, Vic? Vic put it on screen. I was like, I want. Yeah, <laughs> it was literally that fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, but it's not even it's not even the fact. Whenever Simon sends this out, and if anybody goes back and watches my unboxing um, of the Coily Tool, it's the way that it comes to you. There's the, the personal touches, like I opened the box up and the first thing I seen, this product, this package may contain nuts. I, what? <laughs> the fact that you know, it comes in its nice little um, the bubble wrap with a, had a wee bar of chocolate in mine um, and the, the tool itself with the, the labels that's, that's always there. You know, 
is the professionalism of it. To me. I mean, the, the chocolate was a funny thing because I, I think I sent out probably the first two or three batches with chocolate in it. Um, and I said, I have a, a little shih tzu. And I, I started to... It was one of those moments where you sat thinking, what happens if a dog actually gets to that package before the, 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 the owner does? Um, so I actually started putting uh, Haribo into the into the package instead of uh, instead of chocolate. Um, and, and there was a lot of people up in arms. You stopped sending chocolate, especially the, the American <laughs> buyers. You, you, you not put chocolate in it. Um, so I now give the option to, you can either choose Haribo. You get Haribo by default unless you request chocolate. Um, so and we're also putting little samples samples in um, for the next probably two or three weeks of uh, yeah, the, was, the King's that Custard was quite a, that was quite a novelty for uh, Scuba was the fact that he got the little bag of Haribo, Haribo yeah. <laughs> he, he was he, like he did, in the toy shop I was, I was, didn't he say he was is he on a, it was, was it too high in carbs or something he couldn't uh, He couldn't have the, the he was desperate to eat them but couldn't eat them yeah he's so, not allowed no. <laughs> for, <coughs> ultimate for torture for, yeah. for the amount of effort it's taken you to produce, you, to, to post out, I mean, for, for and you're only charging, it's, it's nothing for, for what it's costed. I mean, that takes a powerful amount of commitment and love for the, the scene and the community. But I mean, you're getting nothing out of this by the sounds of things. No, I, I don't get nothing. And it's like I said, I do have uh, a significant passion for the for the vape community. Um, and... I don't, I don't make nothing. The material costs are fairly small. Um, it, we, when it actually prints out, we, there's, it gets printed out in two layers. We have a, a layer of PLA, which is the, the actual plastic bit that you see. Um, I'll, I'll bob a picture on of the, the printer in a minute. But um, there's also a layer of what we call support material, which is uh, made out of PVA. It's a water-soluble material. Um, and... The cost of the PVA, the support material, is more expensive than the actual material cost that, that it's actually produced by. Is there a finishing process after it's printed? No, no, not at the moment. Uh, a couple of people have said you sometimes on the bed, so where it sits on the bottom, it can just you sometimes get a, a sort of tiny little bit of edging around it. And I think Scuba had said the other night he'd actually taken it. Was it Scuba? I know it was Jared, I think. Jared Vapinger had actually got his some sandpaper out and smoothed it off, I think, just to take some of the, the sort of rougher edges off. Um, so, no, I don't, I don't tend to, to finish it at the moment. Um, uh, when, Daniel, uh, Simon Dearden says, Casey, you look like you should be on the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm casting live from my penthouse in Dubai at the minute, you know. I just One thought I would call in. Um, is don't set it... On a, don't set it on a computer table that's near the fire. This no, is very this? true. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Ah. Boy. You need what, a new one. What's, Roy. what's yeah, this has, on? What's this my, on the end? Coils round corners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PLA. Obviously, three D printing is. Is that is, just a bit of cord around the end? It's a natural lanyard strap. Ah, okay. So you can actually have it on your wrist. Like that, and it's there for you to use your coils. When you do your first coil, you can drop it, put your coil in, get it again, do your second coil. Is there a and smaller? Also, is there a smaller version for, say, a keychain? You can hang it up. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. There's the the very first. Just bear me one second. Let me just go and grab the uh, the original versions. One second. I've seen the I've seen the smaller ones. I'd like the, to have one with a keychain on it from a key. Yeah, I've seen that the would one be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, because you know how you get those little uh, the wee sets with the Allen keys that have the the key rang up, yeah, you know, because yeah. a lot of the um, RDAs and stuff use the uh, hex screws that you need the Allen keys for. So one of those attached onto your wee set of Allen mm -hmm. keys would be perfect. It's all kept in the one place then. So that Joy. was that was the the very oh, you can see that or not? See, yeah, I love that. Oh, oh my word! That's orange. Yeah, that was the very, very first version, um, that, that's and that, that sort of has this slot up here, and there's a pin came out of the bottom, um, and that was to measure it. It also had a, a tank stand on the end of it, uh, and the test team said, "You don't need a tank stand. Why is there a tank stand on there? It makes no sense." Which so is a fair point. Well, what would happen if someone touched my coily? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm guessing Michelle's very territorial over her coily. <laughs> So am I. Uh, I, 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 I like the idea you. of the smaller one. 
And yes, well, like, I, have my, I have my lanyard. I have my lanyard out. And hi, Cloud oh, River God. Review. Welcome to the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Some people take the lanyards off. Some people don't like them. Um, um, so mine stays on because it's so easier. It's easy to find. Plus, I have taken to sort of because I use it that much and it's always out and about somewhere. And I've, I'm usually set it somewhere where I can't remember. Yeah. And now I hang it on the camera. Yeah, it's it's it, it was made. I think I originally put it on rather than for wrist for you know for hanging it up. And just going back to the point about the keychain, we did get key rings initially, and key rings sort of made it look a bit um, I don't know, like, a bit like a novelty thing. So we, we got rid of the, the the sort of key ring part of it. But it's that that statement there that I I absolutely love. Yeah. Designed and manufactured and then. So it's that that's sort of supporting the you know the local industry. To me, it is. To me, if someone like Vandy Vape or Geek Vape had brought this out, they'd be looking at charging maybe twelve, fifteen. What I reckon. And that's the thing, and and you know, sort of going back to the point that I was making earlier, if if there was a lot of money to be made out of it, then and and I'm sure China will will copy it. Um, there'll be there'll be. That I actually did see a copy um, not long after I first brought it out. I was made aware of, of a copy that might be being made of it. Um, so, and and I'm realistic. I know that's that's it's likely to happen. So, you know, you, you sort of live with that. And, and my point is trying to make it unique. It's all about looking after people. It's all about, you know, the, the making sure that, that people can come to you if they've got a problem and they can get a replacement and everything else. Um, you know. Well, Phil says you break fingers. Michelle, Austin, Northern Ireland. I'm probably speaking for the three of us, Daniel, yeah, Bonnie, we, and myself. We go for kneecaps. Yep. <laughs> kneecaps in <laughs> <and> a bag. <laughs> Can I just uh, answer Clyde David? Clyde Sorry, Daniel, go ahead. David with the amazing surname. Um, David, the, <laughs> the, the green screen um, was very, very cheap. It's literally just the green cloth I bought from the, a photography place on Amazon. I think it was about... Twelve pounds for the sheet, and it's just velcroed onto the wall. It was very, very cheap. Uh, and Cloud Ripper has said here he used his coily for the first time yesterday, and what a fabulous idea and great design! Cannot fault it. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very much indeed. I said it's this sort of support that that really makes it really does. Uh, Roy, I say hello to Michelle as well. Uh, Sorry, did Michelle. you find it was something you had to get used to using? No, you know, because you've been coiling away without this tool for however number of years. Is this some? Was it something now that you you'll not be able to do without? Correct. I yeah. From the moment from the moment I got it, the very <laughs> first day I got it, um, I opened the box. Everything else, looked at it. I thought, how do I use this? That was my initial thought. How how do I use this? I looked at it. I was like, think. Then I got right the um, got a couple of different decks, post listings. Postless and posted things. I just went and started it and straight away I took to it. One thing, I, one thing I have noticed is I know there's probably no right or wrong way to do it, but some people cut on that, which is the side with the numbers on it. Yeah. So they put it, they put it, in other ones, put the coil, put it through that way and then cut on that side, on the, on the step side. Yeah. I, I always do it from the top because I, I put it through the slots where the numbers are so I can see which number I'm putting it through. But I think it's it's however you however you use it. Um, originally on that, that kind of lost it again there, but the original version, yeah, there, that you can see that. Um, but it had, there was like a piece, a piece along the back there oh, yeah. that sort of stepped up. And the numbers are actually raised; they're not sort of inset down into the unit. And that was the biggest complaint. People were trying to. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Simon. Wait, wait. It's a number in chat again. This is every day I go on. You guys are cruel. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, we had to 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 again to change it. Because people complained that they couldn't get their, you know, the the uh, coiling rod across it flat or, or whatever. So that's that's the reason that it's the, the the sort of shape it is now, and that the numbers are inset down into the unit as well. So I need to keep around this chat because I feel like I'm missing lots of things. The only RDA that I use at the minute is the drop, and I think that coily would be handy for that because the legs are going from the top down. 
Yeah. And it's it is yeah it's quite fiddly right. to get to get in underneath to cut the legs. Yeah, it's perfect. You put a, you put a bit of wire. The way I do it with the drop, Daniel, is I put a bit of wire in and measure the height that I want. You know, you get you put a bend in it, then you stick it into that until you can't feel it. You feel it. You can feel it through one side, then you put up to the next one. And you can't feel it, and you know that's the, the height you want it. Mm-hmm. And you stick it in and cut them. And how long did it take me this morning, Bonnie? <laughs> You would uh, you would have walked the floor with the rest of them in their five minute build challenge on Vic's show. You would have kicked their asses hands down. Oh, it's I'll have to go and join the group. What do you call the group? Uh, if you the search, group. search on Facebook for Kylie, you'll find it. Look, Daniel, look at chat. Yeah, Roy will put the link in for you. So, Roy, your your measurements. Once you've measured them, do you put them into the website? Uh, no, because I haven't had time yet. Yeah. I've got them here to put into the website. <laughs> I will do. I will do. That's that's the thing that I'm I'm finding really difficult to get people to actually put them on there. Um, we've actually got a giveaway running until the end of the month. Um, I've got three uh, Indulgence Hero RTAs, which are a really nice RTA. Yeah, I've seen uh, it, and I want to get. Yeah. I want to, I want a chance to win one, and that's yeah. why I've got I've got them here. But just at the minute, um, I've been working. I start work at half eight in the morning. There's sometimes I don't get away. I work at half eight at night, and then trying to get any bit of review and every now and again trying to have a show on a Wednesday night or two shows on a Wednesday night at this show, and it's just your life sort of intervenes. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely. I say I think, I think that it's just it's the one thing that I'm really keen for people to do is to get all those leg links in. Uh, it's 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 really important. I should probably continue to run a giveaway to you know to get people to to keep putting stuff in there because it's it's really important. It saves saves you. Uh, I was saying to to Zan earlier on before we started that the um, I, I was talking to uh, one guy who's on on Twitter uh, and I think he has one of the white coilies and what he's actually done is he's got coloured uh, permanent markers and he's actually put a dot colour coded the holes. Uh, in his coily, so he's put a little dot on his coily for each hole, and then he's put the same coloured dot on his RTA or RDA on, on whichever RTA he's got it on, so that he can pick it up, and he knows which hole to put it in straight away without having to look at the website, without having to look, look at something that he's written down. It's little things like uh, that. that. Big Guns has got a, a question there. Question from Mr. Coily Tool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any plans to send those across the pond? Yeah, I mean, we send them, they've gone to so far um, various different states in the US. They've gone to Canada, Australia, I was talking to somebody from New Zealand, uh, Romania, Belgium, Holland, Italy, and I don't go to France yet. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're going all over the place. We have, there's a full list of. of uh, <laughs> Postal charges on the Facebook page, the Facebook group, and on the website as well. Um, and in most cases, overseas, the actual cost of postage, unfortunately, is more than the cost of the unit itself. Um, so again, this is why I'm keen to sort of find vendors um, overseas that we can we can ship to, uh, and they can actually obviously get the the shipping cost down because uh, of the shop shipping internally. There's one of the, there's one of the VUKN um, work I told them as sponsor of Eggs. Oh yeah, yeah. Open America, yeah. Um, and Aries as well. Now that he's getting, he's going to be getting one shortly. Mm-hmm. That could be one of your inlets there. Mm-hmm. Um, because they have a they have a good website. They do send, you know, they do send out quite a lot of just and stuff over and at that side of things. Yeah, so that could be something you can maybe look into. Yeah, that um, would be really really good. Yeah. I'll also speak to you about another company that I work with, a disco company in in California. Right. Um, I'll talk to you about that. Yeah, no, that'd be good. Yeah, so it's, we, we, we're, as I said, we're expecting the, the injection molded units to be in, I don't know, sort of maybe three, four weeks, something like that. So, you know, I'm sort of actively trying to speak to people now to say, or, and get people to speak to me and say, yes, I'd like to to um, to stop Coily. Um, so we haven't got a definitive wholesale price yet. Uh, but I'll have that expo with me. I was going Perfect. to just—I was just going to mention expos. Is there any plans to put a stand up at any of the upcoming expos? So, again, I suppose that the, the the one thing for me with expos is that uh, it, it it obviously would have to pay for itself because I'm a I'm a small you know sort of one man band first what three months of of, of selling coily, um, it it would have to pay for itself and I've I've got the opportunity potentially to uh, work with one of my uh, local um, 
companies to, to actually sort of share part of their stand, um, which I think would be quite nice. Somebody, somebody actually said to me, oh, you, you need to take a... You remember, I can't remember which e-liquid company it has, but they had a mini with a, an e-liquid bottle stuck out the, the top of it. They said you need to make a big coil out of wood and stick it on the top of your car and spray it orange and, <laughs> you know, tear that into Expo with it. It should be great. Yeah, it's, but, yeah, I'd, I'd, I mean, I'd like to I'd like to do something like that, but it's would it would it pay for itself? And the other thing is, you know, people coming up to a stand in Expo expect lots of freebies. Would they, you know, I'd be, end up giving out more free than, than we would actually end up selling so I think at the, at the price you're charging um, and with the amount of people sort of coming through the doors um, I mean it's nothing it, it, it's you would like to think that everybody would be able to spur for was it 799 so, yeah it's I, actually 599 plus plus passage and packing so if it was being sold at Axel, I mean that I thought that would be a, be a superb platform but it, mm. the stands are very expensive yeah. Yeah, and I mean it, it. It is a good opportunity. So I'm, I'm mulling it over at the moment whether it's, it's something that um, something that we we should do or, or not. Um, I'd I'd like to go. I've I've never actually been to an expo yet, so it will be a, <laughs> a good experience me for me to go. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I would I would love to go. But I will I will definitely have it at the expo. Um, there's a couple of companies there that you know, I do I do talk to quite a bit um, in the distro side of things. Um, I'm going go on to those. Was asked to another distro that is not in chat yet, but he is normally in the around the BUK and cast and everything else, which is um, Homeway Valley Vapors. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I'm sure I saw him. He, he was in. He was in yeah. chat there. Yeah. Was it? Was Comey in? He was, he was, was in. I never saw. Are you Shane? Are you Shane? Our I'm brother sure. from the other side of the border. Yeah. And um, what have we missed here? Big guns. There's no vendors as yet. Carry the car. Well, sorry, there is one vendor which is Nature Vape. Um, does carry them. That's the only one at the moment. So. Yeah, and I, I think this is sort of going back to what I said before. I mean, Mark from Nature Vape. I don't know if anybody's ever spoken to him or dealt with him, but he's just such a nice guy. Um, he got Coily. I think it was before it was released. Uh, I sent a sample out for him to to look at. Um, I think it was actually TVP had had it that Mark had seen it. Um, and he's, I've worked very, very closely with Mark, um, and I said we, we've actually decided to sort of partner on the on the production because the the cost of the of the moulds is just horrendous. You wouldn't you wouldn't believe how much it is to get a mould made. You have to be just to keep the fact of what's you know, the the pressure they're going to be put under for ejection moulding. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's 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 a really nice guy, and and yeah, you know, we we sort of both talked about wholesale and everything else, and it's it's something that he's obviously. You know, as I said, I'm a software developer. I don't have that much uh, knowledge of the vape industry, um, so he's got a lot more knowledge than I have. Uh, obviously, works a lot um, with different companies. So, but because you are such a nice fella, Simon, it's, it's going to be people tripping over themselves to actually help you. Um, you know, I know I don't. I end up. I I emailed you to start with, just asking you, you know, how do I buy one. Hmm. I started, and that's where it came from. Never since I've thought it. Even before, but I was. Every day I got home from work, I was checking the post to make sure, was it there yet? Is it there yet? <laughs> and, you know, it's, I would go to the end of the earth to promote this because I, it's something I believe in. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that. And, and as I said, the support from, from yourself and from everybody else has just been so, so good. And, you know, people say you're nice, and I think Scuba said, oh, you're a humble guy. And I don't purposely try to, but I actually find myself sometimes feeling guilty for, you know, I think, should I be being this nice be, nice person? Because there's a lot of people out there that, that aren't. But I think the thing is that I try to be nice with people. I try to pe treat people with respect. And I've found that people do exactly the same to me. They're nice to me. They treat me with respect. They give me the support. And, and I appreciate that. And, I mean, the review scene, the majority of it has been absolutely superb. Um, you know, there's just been some really nice people that, that have, you know, sort of given me the time. Yourself, Roy, obviously Michelle from Manhattan, Vic, um, TVP, everybody um, that's and shown so much passion for, for Coley. It's just been, honestly, outstanding. Well, I knew I wanted to get you on the show, and you know, I've been sort of. I mean, as soon as I saw you'd done a live Facebook, I went, "Not going to be any problem." But I'll just let folks out there. This past week, Simon has been panicking. <laughs> Simon, Simon has Simon has been panicking absolutely loads. He has to be coming on here and doing this. But there you are. You're what nearly 
Million R into this show. Is it that one? Um, you've done absolutely, um, you've done absolutely um, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, you know, you've, done, you, you've done better than Roy usually does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jay, it doesn't work because I haven't programmed you in. Jay's trying to promote his own his own channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you mean like this, Jay? I, I have a great long list of people who, who obviously, um, and, and it would take me forever to go through them. Jay's obviously been on there. I, I sent a unit out to Jay and I said, Michelle, but just to name everybody who, who I honestly just, I can't say how much I appreciate. It, it always sounds like, and I said this when I was doing my live feed the other night, it sounds like I'm, I'm accepting an award for a, a BAFTA or something like that, but just... I honestly cannot say how much it means to to all the people that have, have supported it and and you know been so nice and you know there's been some I was going to swear then there's been some people who who weren't as supportive but it's like I said you, you sort of you live with that but the majority of people have just been so so nice. Um, the review the review scene does have a lot of uh, what's the word S sort of sway in the community and. Yeah. As you say, you must be really appreciative, you know, with the few reviewers who got their hands on it. I am because you expect that some of these some of these people are going to be sort of divas and things like that. And and as I said, the majority just aren't. The majority are just really nice, really nice people. Um, More phone by another one, another one of the new lady reviewers, and again, he's purple lady ever. And I saw Megan on on Vic's show on Thursday night, and I I need to speak to if you, if you want to coily. Megan, I will certainly get one over to you. Oh, thank you. So, she's been an avid supporter and also on other shows, and she's on Bits of Beast as well. So. Yep. Roy, you're um, going you a bit max head roomy. It's uh, like Robocop. Yep. It's, my internet was supposed to be fixed yesterday, so. John, take care, buddy, and I hope you feel better soon. And tell Jude we're saying hello. See you later, John. Take care, sweetheart. I'm on back bed now, so. Jay, are you are you calling me, hun, or Megan? I sure as hope you're calling me, hun. <laughs> me? <laughs> it's me he's talking to. Yeah, uh, Simon Roy's internet has been a bit um, lackluster. Oh, shall we all say, right. The last few days. <laughs> I've Amazon coming to be seconds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, Jay's just saying there. At least you have internet. He doesn't. Uh, uh, Jay was telling us earlier um, that the uh, you know the the box that's out on the side of the road that connects everybody's phones and broadband and stuff. Yeah. Apparently, it's uh, lying on its side in someone's front garden because some idiot crashed into it and sent it flying. So uh, where Jay lives, there's no internet service at the minute. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Fig Jam, you definitely have. Fig Jam makes coils in, in Northern Ireland. He's a mark. He actually does. He's got his he own coils. He does reviews and stuff as well. And yes, Mark, you definitely you have to have one of these in your life. I will. Uh, anybody that builds at all or puts coils, not even makes coils, but puts coils into rebuildables, has to have them. It's you know you can't. It's a genius invention. It definitely is. It's up there. It's up there with the coil master jig. Yeah, two Thank things you. no self respect and coiler should ever be without. One is a coil master and the other is a coily. Katie, <laughs> you're not watching. She came from her mum. <laughs> Come on, big guns, keep up. <clears throat> I think it's uh, the, the, the one thing that I, I sort of try to keep saying is this this. And, and I'll keep pushing it until the cows come home about it being a beginner's tool, which you just it it is for beginners, but it's not just for beginners. It's it's for for everybody. Um, and I say one one story that I sort of link it to. I think I said earlier I'm a software developer. When I I first started in in software development, there's a lot of web developers. Um, I'm, I'm going back a few years now when you used to get proper nice tools for creating web pages and things like that. And you get the old hardcore web developers. I don't want anything like that. I don't use that. I use Notepad and that's it. Um, and it's you know it's the sort of hard and fast, old fashioned um, coilers that seem to say no, it's not it's not for me. It's not for me. I, I, I you know. 
and and it's like I said, it's more a helping thing. You know, it makes it easier, makes it quicker. You get better leg lengths, and and I think it's. I just really want to. It's the, the leg length thing is the one thing that I always had an issue with. Mm. And I'll be honest with you. You know, I've tried. I've watched different reviewers, and um, and you know the way they put it on the big, and then put them together, and then cut yeah. them. Even at that, I still find you're getting different. The leg lengths are slightly different. You've either cut it too short. And the moment you cut a leg too short, that's it. That causes that causes mess. You can go too long to start with, then you can bring it down a bit, bring it down a bit. But first time, sticking it in, bang, cut in. And you get into that old sawing the leg off a table thing as well, don't you? So you cut one side, oh, I've cut that a bit too short, I'll cut the other side, and you end up you know, with like sort of one mil left on the end of it by the time you're finished. And Jay, I'm back on BJ's list because um, I said that Megan came from my mum. <laughs> oh, and I just have to when I'm, I just have to plug just while I remember. Plug while I remember, my son and his daughter make your son and his girlfriend even <laughs> girlfriend son son and his girlfriend make these um good provisionally for horses. For horsey scenes and everything else, but they made me this one. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. it's it's on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll get them on later for you, Simon, because I'm getting. Uh, I, I, I can feel. Uh, I can feel. I'm doing all this for you, so you know as many colours of coil as you can pass to me. I can feel that coming along. <laughs> no, I'm, buy I'm buying those in the store. No argument on that side. No argument whatsoever. I'm buying them. Um, but yeah, as you keep going along, as you get, as it become more difficult to buy, and you have, we'll have to go. Sorry, babe, 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 your internet's gone. We can't understand the words you're saying. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Hey Megan, it makes a change. It's not mine and it's not yours. I know it's strange, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly what Zan said. <laughs> See, Jay's just put on chat there. With I spoke to to Jay about this um, was last week or the week before about doing a colour changing. So you can you can actually buy colour changing filament. Um, so you know, there's various different colours. They start white and they turn to electric blue or. And it's it's something that yeah something that <laughs> I, I I wouldn't mind doing so I need to uh, I need to look more at that and um as as the uh, as the injection molded ones come out uh, the, my side will just be like I said doing custom colours for people um so I'm sort of looking at all the various different options my my wife said to me this morning you should do a pink one I said yeah but it's all right because I have to do them in batches if I do a pink one and I know we're, everybody's into this um uh, non-gender thing now so. You know, boys should have pink as well as girls. So it's it's just whether people would want to buy a pink, or whether the oh, men would no. men would oh, buy, no. want to buy a we've, pink. One. We've got trouble in the house in the form of deadly sinner. <laughs> oh dear. Simon, yeah. what yes. about doing uh, like custom ones with sort of no next to the logo? That's Is that's, that possible? Yeah, that's something that uh, we we thought about. Um, because there is potential to perhaps remove the coily, the word coily at the top, uh, and do branding specifically, because it would need to be screen printed, because you couldn't create an injection mould for every brand that, that wanted to do it. So we could create a version which was a, you know, sort of solid at the top. And there is room, I think, um, on the coily to actually brand it, but it, it is it is fairly tight for room. There's a slight design change to the injection and moulded one, which means there's a, a bit less space on it as well. But it's possible. You have my it's, attention. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's certainly possible to do it. Can um, I speak with you at some point? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. I would love one with the logo on it. That would yeah. be absolutely superb. I mean, the email address. Just, just so you know, and I, I don't, I don't want to push in too much. But if, if, if anybody wants to email me, whether it be wholesale vendor inquiries, if they've got questions about Coily, um, the email address is coilytool at outlook dot com. So just any emails to that. Simon, anyway, it's yeah. Been Every every sort of template gets up on screen. Yeah, but honestly, just feel free to to email me at that uh, that address, and I'll I'll pick up whenever I can. And obviously on Facebook, more than happy to happy to to chat to anybody on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you know, just give me a shout on either of those, and I'll answer whatever questions I can. And, and will say that, 
Zhang is absolutely fantastic when it comes to this. I can't hear him. Yeah, he's, his internet's gone really, really bad <laughs> again. Such an amateur? Amateur art! No, as I'm gone. Somebody, somebody was um, agreeing with some of the games all about this. <laughs> Don't blame my green screen. Everybody else is okay. Are you co are you hosting, Roy? No, no Zana's. Oh, she'll slap me then. <laughs> is he back? Are you back? No. Will I leave? No. No. <laughs> Sinner says Roy's internet has gone down quicker than a Geordie last for a bag of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> So, Simon, I've saved your email address. I'll pop you a email over. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, that would be superb. I say it's, I do try to respond as quick as I can, but it, it's as I said, I've, I've I've my day job, so sometimes it can be it can be an evening before I get back to people, but I try to get back to people as quick as I can. No rush at all. Doing communications very early in the morning. Yeah, I, I start work at uh, about six o'clock, so I'm, I'm usually up from about sort of five thirty onwards, and, and try to get any of my stuff out when half an hour before I start work. So I usually work sort of six till six, seven o'clock some nights. But yeah, bit the hamster dude. Huh? Megan. Yeah. What are you in? What are you vaping on? Do you know I've been I've been on nearly an hour and he still hasn't asked me. That's because you I haven't shut up long enough to let him. He still hasn't asked yet. <laughs> Megan comes in and within five minutes she's got herself a coily tool. She finds out what she's vaping on. I'm sitting here an hour in freaking Dubai and I just get ignored. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but Daniel, continue you, on. No, Megan, just no, you continue Daniel, on. You might have the scenery behind you, but let's face it, Megan's the much more attractive option, hence why Roy's asked her first. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I can't I not agree there. Okay, okay. <laughs> we all love you really, bro, so, you know, um, personal. I've got the X proof again. Yay! <laughs> I'm not fucking telling anybody what, what, what I'm doing. What, what juice have you in it? Uh, the you still special on the, menthol. Yeah, I was going to say, you're still on the menthol. And um, Megan. Uh, I've seen a, 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 <gasps> some chat there from you, the UK. You will the... love those, Megan. Those are absolutely amazing. I love that juice line so much I bought every flavour last night. <laughs> and watch my reviews coming up on them, folks, because there's a full line to give away. Yes, um, for those of you that maybe didn't catch that, uh, Roy has a full line of that juice to use uh, for giveaway purposes at a later date. Oh, look at this. The next turn is screen off. The and all of a sudden, I don't have work problems anymore. Yeah, you're still a bit potatoy though. Let's see if that helps. You've just ruined the whole illusion. <laughs> now I'm back on a council estate. <laughs> Sucking in purple nurple usually as it turns purple. <laughs> yeah, uh, Senator, that's everybody's personal taste, I suppose. Some people continue. I'm talking about giveaways, Roy. Yeah. Uh, if you want, I will. You can either use it on on this chat, or you can use it for a future one. I'll 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 donate a coily for a giveaway. Oh, Simon, that is that's amazing. Thank uh, you. I'm just I'm about to come off the call here, so I can enter the giveaway. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you gonna... think? Spoken chats. Would you like um, a chance to win? <laughs> Roughly translated, people of Chatland, would you like the chance to win a coily? Next one, if he's the first. And there is a stipulation. You must be subscribed to the um, Coily Talk Facebook group and also the Atlantic NI. 
Hi! I'm I'm assuming you know Vape Clown. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, like the eggs. Okay, son, mods are not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Basically, uh, Teresa, what Roy said was that um, you have to be subscribed to uh, Vape Lounge Jedi on YouTube and uh, be subscribed to the Coily Facebook group to be able to chance of winning. Yeah, <laughs> said her, woohoo, I'm not a mod so I can enter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop the link in the chat for Vape Lounge Jedi. Make, sure you, you. make sure you click that link and subscribe. Oh, you! I've just seen what you done there, you sneaky bugger. <laughs> <laughs> just click that link and subscribe. That's you. <laughs> well, we can we can even go on better. Do you want to actually see your uh, your coil who's being produced? The winning oh, coil yeah, is being yes. produced. I'll, I'll keep. Yes, please. I'll uh, I'll keep one out of these three that are being printed at the moment. So. Oh, there you go. There's the genius at work. Look at that. So one of those three will go to the winner, and I'll make sure it's definitely one of those three. Awesome. Absolutely. Bill Byrne. Where have you been? Where have you been, Bill? Yeah, I think, I think Bill must have fell asleep at some point, probably 30 seconds after we went live. If he's only discovering now that it's Mr. Coily we have on air. Keep up, Bill. <laughs> yes, beastie. See, there's even different planes. The Coily God. Yes, exactly. Well, you're you're still Max Headroom in, buddy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god. How many bits that he's printed? <laughs> oh good god, Senor. No, I can I can categorically say that I, I haven't. <laughs> yet. Y yep. <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna say something but I'll keep I'll keep the conversation at a, yeah. a, a, a respectable level. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Respect went out the window the minute Devil Center <laughs> got here, you know. Yeah. And Sorry. Bill, Bill says, I thought those things don't actually exist. It's like finding Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> and Clyde Ripper says, I do reviews. I think Clyde is the most handy tool ever owned. Thank you very much indeed. That's very nice. Can you Clyde do a coily shaped in a penis? I'll pay for it. <laughs> 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 so, um, Simon, what time and what day on the group do the batches go up? So they go up, we put a batch of 10 up every Monday at 8pm GMT. Um, I believe at the moment it's about 4 o'clock Eastern time if there's anybody from America, but um, it's 8pm it's GMT. It's, it's very, very difficult to find a time to, that's, that works out perfectly for, for everybody. Um, I think that's going to change as well soon. I think it's just changed because I think it was five hours behind. Yeah, the, the time change has already happened in the States. It happens with us next weekend. Yeah, we change next week, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so I'm obviously that's not back in again, folks. Okay, babe. Um, so I think the, the other thing that we do do, as I said, Nature Vape, uh, put them in their website. Um, it's usually, well, it's, it's, it's always a Thursday or a Friday. Again, the small quantities, but it's either a Thursday or a Friday. Um, and the last few weeks, I think it's been about three o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. He puts them on the site, um, so it's worthwhile keeping an eye out. Uh, Is there going to be much of a difference between the injection mold and the current 3D printed ones? No, pretty much the same. There's there's a couple of tiny little changes that were required for the for the manufacturing process, but other than that, exactly the same. Okay. I'll get one either way then. Well, everybody's green now for me, so. Yep, and you're back to normal for us now too. And um, center, I can only imagine. <laughs> Why drippers? Have you watched my review yet? I'm I'm looking forward to your review, Cloud Rippers. I think my I thought my review was quite good of it. 
it was it was very very good. They've all been good. Every review that's been been done has been has been really good. Well, it is such a good product that you know you couldn't give it a bad review. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. <laughs> I, well, you know, I you know, you've it. made it when you've got haters. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually sat down, Simon, believe it or not, and I've sat down and tried to do negative points. I sat with a pen and a piece of paper and tried to write down negative points for it. Yeah. I think one. Yeah. I think from, it was... Don't leave it beside a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do not set it anywhere near a fire. I mean, that's, I suppose that's that is the one thing with the injection molded units is they won't be susceptible to that. I think I can't remember the exact material that they're using, but it's a nylon-based material for the injection molded, and I think it's got um, some sort of stranding in it as well, which makes it stronger and it stops it shrinking and things like that when they're in the in the molding process. Um, so the, the injection molded unit will be. Um, is the price going to stay the same, Simon? Yeah, and and sort of going to the price. I mean. It's five ninety nine now. I, I I will never say it's never going to go up in price because if the cost of manufacturing goes up, everything else. But again, I want to keep it real. I I, I could have gone in and said right, I'll make it ten ninety nine now, um, and and hopefully that price can stick for for three years until things change. But I'd rather do it realistically. I I hate, you know the the like the chocolate companies that make things smaller to they they try and pull a fast one with the on price. I'd try, rather keep it real. And say, right, we're going to have to put the price at 50p, or we're going to have to put the price of a pound, and give people plenty of notice as, as production costs go up. But yeah, it's. And it's I not... think it's it's extremely reasonably priced when you factor in the cost of other sort of accessories that you would pay for in vaping. I mean, it's very very reasonable. I mean, at 10 pounds 99, you know, it would still sell mm -hmm. very very well. So I think you've put yourself in at a very reasonable price point. Yeah, and I think, as I said, I I I'd, I would rather, and I keep saying this, the the sort of passion for the vape community. I would rather give the vape community something, um, and and not try and you know sting them to make money for me. It's like I said, it makes a bit, and I'm going to over time. I'll get back what I've invested in terms of time and and equipment. That that will come back to me. But I'd still rather get something out into the vape community that people find useful. Yeah, that's, and then that's you, the you, you've set yourself up. With like a platform, then to go for V two, V three, V four, and to exactly. sort of continually develop the product. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Super. I tip my hat to you because there's not many people could innovate that way for something to explode so quick. But I, I do like the fact that it's exclusive at the minute. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that's a, that must have been a difficult one for you to go for mass production. Because they, I think the ex exclusivity of it. Yeah, and I, I didn't, I didn't expect to have to go for mass production as quickly as I did. Um, yeah. But I say it's, you sort of got, you, you got to to gauge that thing between frustration and you know I, I could have kept it going for a bit longer and, and just trying to do it through the group and it and it isn't about the exclusivity thing. That was that was never it for me. It was obviously just just being able to make what was needed. Um, so I, I could have kept going a bit longer, but. People will get frustrated that they can't get one, and that they keep trying. And I do see people that get frustrated. And I do get emails from people that say, you know, I've been trying for for weeks to get one, and I can't get one. So I I don't want that frustration to be there. I want people to to actually have one. Brilliant, brilliant. That's very honourable. It's so. not like the sort of there's Facebook groups there where you have to win raffles just yeah. to get the opportunity to buy a certain product, you know, and. That they throw the price extremely high because of that reason. Yeah, so you know, exactly. it's very honourable the way you're you're trying to at least get one into everybody's hand. Yeah, and as I said, it's it's this community thing. It's been part of this. The the you know, there's a lot of companies make stuff and aren't really. You know, there's this old adage, isn't there? The made by vapors for vapors, and that's that's my attitude. I want it to be, you know, something that's that's part of a community and not not just a product that's out there to make money. Brilliant. I'm really glad to hear that you've got it protected in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's brilliant. Cause, um, I was surprised that none of the bigger manufacturers had latched on yet. And I'm sure they will. Whether whether they'll make enough money out of it, I don't know. But the, the fact is, you know, no matter what protection you have in place, and and I think that's shown over the last week in various China, different places. China doesn't care. Yeah, China don't care. They'll do it. And you know what 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 do you do? You threaten them. I'm I'm going to go and tell on you because you copied my thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's just, it doesn't hold any ground, unfortunately. But 
the majority of the vape community are brilliant, and um, you know you're you're now very very well known for this product, and any sort of buddy trying to come in to clone it, if you will, it wouldn't be very well received at this stage, you know, because it's coily and that's it. Yeah, and I, I would I would hope there's that support, and and as I said, you, you, again, sort of following the drama over the last week, there's always going to be people out there that say, well, you know, it's it's your loss, tough, but. You know, you hope to get that bit of support in in some shape or form. Um, you know, I've I've tried my best to to make something something available. And... I have another question for you. Was Coily the first name, or did you go through several? And how did Coily the Coily tool come about? Or was there any other names that it may have been called? No, there wasn't. Uh, it was I. I... As my job as a as a software developer, I work on various different projects and have to give them names and things like that. And I sort of go and sit myself in a <laughs> my my so so this is my my sort of vape room. This isn't my normal working uh, working room. Um, it, it it started off. I have, I have a bit of a sideline hobby, which is magic. I love magic. So there's a there's a whole set of shelves behind me with magic tricks on them and things like that. There's a whole set of shelves that side with vape stuff on. There's a whole set of shelves. <laughs> That side with juice on them, um, and then I've got my printer here, and the production line is me and my wife stood here in this this sort of corner over this side, making boxes and putting them into bubble bags and things like that. So it's a very tiny little room. So so my sort of normal, I'm kind of completely off track now. I've got what I was talking about initially, but my sort of normal working environment is in my my little shed out at the back. So I usually go and sit myself in my quiet little corner of my shed, um, and and it's it's not a big shed; it's a tiny little sort of six foot square shed um, and and I sort of contemplate different uh, different names for, for things so it, it was the first one that came out and I just thought it's catchy it's it, it, it's worked know. it's definitely worked yeah. yeah I thought I actually thought there was that was going to be a whole host of names before you came no. to the coin yeah. it's, it's one of those things that you know when you think of a name you think right I'll go and check the domain names I'll go and check trademarks because coily is trademarked as well um, so I'll go and check the trademarks register. I'll go and check all these things and, and see what's already used. I'll do a search on Facebook, see what's Facebook gives me back. And I think Kylie was the first thing that, that I came across and checked, and was surprised how few people there were actually using it. So. Oh, that's superb. Okay, folks, put a word or a little phrase into chat, and you have to put that in. Uh, I can I, I can translate that. Uh, Roy just said Vip City Reviews is the best reviewer on YouTube. <laughs> okay, Roy. <laughs> <coughs> His internet's done. That's he's no more to life. I'm assuming. Oh, the word I'm I'm assuming you, know, you have to put in hashtag coily tool rules. Yep. So if you put that in the chat, guys, that will be your entry. UK Andy, I like that. The original and the best, exactly. Yeah. Uh, big guns, if you're sitting in front of your computer, why don't you take some screenshots, man? <laughs> I know. It's all right, Maggie jumped in on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise I'm hearing in the background? That's the three D printer. Is can you hear that? Uh it sounded like someone jumping up and down on a bed. <laughs> no, <laughs> not as far as I'm aware, anyway. <laughs> Are you Conway? Hi, Philip. There's Conway Valley in now. Ah, uh, hello, Philip. Can I turn my green screen back on again? No. So anybody else want to if you want to enter, put in um, hashtag coilytool rules. And then I shall roll it. 
for real this time, sir. And we have to say massive thank you to the College Homes for providing this. The first live network giveaway of College Home. Hmm. And you'll even get a free bag of Haribo or a bar of chocolate. Oh. Yay. In fact, we'll push the bow out. I'll put if as long as you don't object. If if anybody doesn't want the chocolate, but you can have both. Oh my word! <laughs> well, Daniel's going back to Dubai. As quick as that. Right, so here we go, folks. <laughs> Zan looks unhappy that I flew back to Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you went back to Dubai and didn't take him with you. <laughs> oh, we have a winner. Oh, sorry. We've with a free coil in with it as well. Something's happened to the car. Yeah, we've just gone poof. Uh, Zan's just called me back in there, so. So Zan's internet. <laughs> Zan, <laughs> was that my green screen by any chance? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> right, hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah, the only one left on the screen was Simon. Oh, that's scary. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are we back yet? No. Nope. That wasn't me, a technical difficulty for us for a change. I'm saying nothing, I'm staying out of it. <laughs> Yours went fifth last week. We're still off by the looks of it. Right, right, folks. Throw that. And Sloan's saying that she's coiling and wicking the old I go W right now. This win is my reward. <laughs> so I'm guessing that means you want it. <laughs> well, do, you, do, do you want it? You want it? <laughs> yeah, but, 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 roughly translated, Roy said, would you like it, Sloan? <laughs> Teresa. We will get you one, don't worry. We will buy you one. Yeah, Sloan says thanks, everyone. I will be on the Coily group on Monday night at 7 minutes and 58 seconds. Do you have to comment on a certain post that goes yeah, on? Yeah, so, so I, I tend to try and put a uh, post up through the day, so it basically says 12 hours to go, 6 hours to go, and that depends how busy I am. Uh, I, I, I discovered that I could actually schedule these posts as well, which was a real boon last week or the week before. Um, so I'll try and get those on. Um, and then at 8 o'clock, there'll be a, a post goes up, and it's got a big red square on it that says um, something like, uh, keep calm and comment X1 to order Coily now, or something like that. It's a big red square, but you can only comment on that post. Okay. Um, a lot of people comment on different posts and it just causes a bit of confusion but it's just that one post not uh, not any other post okay. there's always there's always some smart guy that thinks they can put a post up yeah <laughs> somebody's not nobody's done that yet somebody might do now <laughs> so yeah not to, i mean i try to literally try to close the comments down as soon as i can so the first 10 people that comment on that post and it takes a bit takes a few minutes actually after it's finished because facebook does some really wacky stuff with the ordering of the comments um, so I need to give it two or three minutes to settle down and refresh before I know who the, the actual tenor Facebook's so. quite strange that way I run a Facebook page for a local face and chip shop and we used to do last person to comment wins whatever and 
the amount of if I sort of stop the comments and you pick the winner, twenty minutes later Facebook has rearranged all to do, all, yeah. whoever gets the last post, you know. So I understand completely. And you see it happens so quick. If it was over a period of, you know, sort of ten, fifteen minutes you could see it as but but it happens so quick that they're all within, you know, two minutes or well, in fact seconds. It, it's just it's Scary to see them all coming there. Daniel, do you want a copper? Going once, going twice. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, please. Is that my Amazon? I am waiting on Amazon. I didn't think Amazon delivered on Sundays, but I got a wee notification today that they would be here. Yeah, I, I get quite a few Amazon deliveries through on a on a Sunday. See, it depends, I, that, that's it depends a what delivery one. service they use, because a lot of the like private courier firms do deliver. <laughs> That's Sunday, the first yeah. I've ever had. It. I, I got when I first ordered it, they told me it would be here Monday, but I got a uh, delivery notice this morning saying they'd be here today. Uh, it was a case for the new phone. I got the new Galaxy S9. Oh, very nice. But very nice. I'm I'm scared to touch it until I get a case on it. Yeah. Oh, Zan got a new case. I think it's more the fact uh, that he's waving your old phone back at you. I actually miss, I really, really miss, I was using the Galaxy Note 8, and I miss <laughs> the you later, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Yeah, she's probably going to feed the zoo, otherwise known as the kids. <laughs> so, Megan, you haven't said much today. Mom. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Anything that you your head? Simon? <laughs> Yeah, Michelle, that's the thing. Or, if you have any questions for Simon or for Daniel, for that matter, just you know, Megan, put Daniel you on the spot. We like you, to do that. Megan, you seem to be on camera. Like any time I turn on a TV or a mobile phone, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a full-time broadcaster now. Because <laughs> everybody loves What's me, really. Like? What's the weather like up your way? Uh, it's snowing. snowing. Keep it there. <laughs> we don't want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts are you, Megan? Uh, Nottingham. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I think it's gone down. I'm, I'm in Yorkshire, so it's it's sort of crept down the country. I think from us. Yeah, it's yeah. quite well, bad. That's another reason why I like East Simon. You're a Yorkshireman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Surrey and Leeds for um, fourteen, well, ten years. I lived in Liverpool for four years, but I lived in Surrey and in Leeds. Oh, well, Thursk. Thursk is about uh, fifteen miles away from where I live. You're in Malton, so, aren't you? That's it. Yeah. You're yeah. where? Sorry. Malton. Malton, which is it's about halfway between uh, York and the east coast, between York and Scarborough. All oh, right. Yeah. My mum well, is well. in uh, Nottingley. All right, which is Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mum lives in Nottingley. Yeah. I've been over there quite a lot. <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> oh, she started, look. She started. <laughs> she took your bad hint. She took your bad, your bad, your bad habits, funny. Am I right in thinking yeah. there's an e-liquid company from Yorkshire? Yeah, the Yorkshire Vapor. Yorkshire Vapor. Is that an e that's an e-liquid company, isn't it? Well, Yorkshire Vapor does a lot of stuff. He's uh, he does, does the fuzz. fuzz cotton, and he has his own juice line, and yes. you know he does the. He used to do reviews and stuff. I don't know if he still does or not. But. <laughs> yeah, you've just made Sinner's day. You flipped him <laughs> off, so he's happy. <laughs> so, Megan, what's next on your review queue? Um. I've got the smoke mag to put back up and the coily in a few days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of juice. <laughs> she got a huge box from Conway Valley. Philip likes, likes to do that. Philip doesn't uh, send liquid out in wee tiny amounts. He likes to send huge crates to people. Thank you so much. Oh look at look at this for service. In a, Dis in a Disney the, princess look at, mug. I know. Look at the mug she gives me. Yeah, Disney princess. There Better you go, Sinner. There's a mug Melissa. just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to black my camera every time I try to lift it up now. Sinner's <laughs> got yes, got girl to flip me off. See, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a. Oops, sorry. So I'm seeing a lot of love for Yorkshire in the in the chat as well, which is very nice. 
Well, it's, lovely, it's a lovely, lovely place. Yeah. Yorkshire's as close to Northern Ireland as you can ever get. Yeah. Yep. Well. I see Shane's going to stop doing reviews. That's Why? Eric's Spaven channel. That's Shane, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. Shane. Why, why are you stopping, Shane? I'll take it for 20 seconds for it all come back yeah. up again. I'm it's fucking roasting. Oh! <laughs> 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 Put it up. Fuck, burnt my tongue. Nah, <laughs> 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 so even the devil doesn't mess with trainers. Shirts, not mean skirts. Yeah, I think that's what you mean. <clears throat> yeah, skirts even. Yep. The center's yeah. over, so you'll have to excuse him for his typos. So, are you actually going to go? Are you going to visit? I know you're not having a stall at the expo, but are you thinking of going down to, down to experience the expo, Paul Simon? I'd really, really like to. Yeah, um, it's. I mean, there's a, there's a few. There's is a vape fest. I think is one that I'd also like to go to. Um, but expo is, is definitely one that I'd I'd really like to to visit. Definitely. There's a whole well, contingent. Yeah, there's, there's a whole clatter of us lot going. Over. Is it? Yeah, we're all staying at the same hotel as well, so it's just going to be a, a train wreck waiting to happen. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you do manage to make it down, it would be lovely to meet you. I'd, I would. Megan's I would love to go. Sorry, Beth. Megan's just got her hotel booked. I saw the uh, the post. Yeah. Yep, so she's she's another victim, sorry, uh, guest <laughs> at the Premier Inn for that weekend. So, hungover isn't the word. I'm practic I'm practically the mental and physical capability of Omega right now, one step away from just sitting here drooling. <laughs> oh yes, So is, it, is this the May one that you're all going to then? Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah. And October. Oh, sure. Let I'll have a look and see what can uh, what I can get organised. Yeah, well, we, there's quite a few of us going to be there the Friday, Saturday, and the Sunday. Yeah. Oh, that's right. UK Andy's just reminding us there's a Manchester Vape Expo in July as well. Is it? Mhm. Mm across the road from you. Yeah, Manchester's not far. My my client for the day job is based in Manchester. In fact, I'm over there too. Well, near Manchester, over there two days this week. In Manchester's mm -hmm. God's country. It's just a it's a nightmare for me to get to. Even with the M62, is just it's horrendous. <laughs> and Gail Gail says uh, she's going to apologise to you now, Simon. For <laughs> you're probably, you're probably get huggles. Yeah, you'll get lots of hugs. I can confirm Gail is as scurry in real life as what she is online. <laughs> no, she's not, Daniel. You see, if you weren't at the top of her shit list, you wouldn't need you would have nothing to fear. <laughs> I, uh, because, because you keep winding her up, that's why you know I, you're I at the that, top of her shit list. I'm not used to winding her up online. When I eventually met her last week, I kept forgetting she was able to punch me. You know, over face to face. Yep. <laughs> no, she, Gail's an absolute wee dope. She's an absolute dope. We had a blast last Tuesday. We had a great day. Yeah, I saw you doing your uh, lap dancing moves. <laughs> I had to. I had to. You can't beat Scotty Sam hugs. So I think the other thing is that anybody could drink me under the table. I'm a, I'm a real lightweight now when it comes to drinking. I used to. I mean, I'm a big bloke. I'm, I'm 20 plus stone. I don't know how much the plus is, but you know, and six foot, six foot four. And I used to think nothing of drinking 12, 15 pints a night, but. Wow. Two or three pints. Now that's it. Um, um, oh well, you'll definitely get on well, Roy, because two <laughs> pints and he's anybody. <laughs> Give him a bottle of vodka on the other hand, and um, you know, not a problem. But he just can't handle beer at no, all. Two, I, two beers and he's sliding I'm, off the chair. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. Think, yeah, I'm the same. I, I can drink spirits, not mm -hmm. a problem. But uh, beer, just, uh, just can't take it anymore. My favourite drink used to be uh, whiskey mac. I absolutely love whiskey, which is uh, whiskey and ginger wine. Absolutely yeah. love it. Really, really nice. But it's not I good. Like, I like my Jack Daniels. I, I have a, a tendency to drink Jack and white. I really like it. And I'm going through a Captain Morgan's rum phase at the minute. Oh, I like rum. The Captain Morgan spiced rum is so nice. Mark, really nice. thanks very much for tuning that in, one. buddy. And we'll yes, see you that's the soon. one. Really nice. <laughs> See you, Mark. <clears throat> Not that I'm an alcoholic or anything. But... 
Oh no, me neither. I've just got, <laughs> I've just got an alcohol stash that That's, sits down beside uh... the chair because I can't be arsed one into the kitchen every time I want a drink. <laughs> okay. Simon, I, what I'm going to do, Fig Jam, um, Mark, who just left the room, um, actually he builds coils. Right. Uh, killer clown coils. So I, if I get my hands on one, I will pass it over to Mark. Mark also does reviews, but he would be a really good advocate for someone over here in the north of Ireland to I, sort I, of have and promote one of them wee tools. I'll, I'll get a, a couple over to you, um, and then if you want to send one on, that'll be, that'll be absolutely fine. I'll, I'll buy one through the group, and no, then I'll, no, I'll, I'll pass it. No, 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 and I'll pass it over to Mark. He sells sort of coils locally, um, okay. but he's, he's very, very good, and okay. um, he would also be able to do a really good video with the tool too. I, I think it needs a personal visit. Do you know, Northern Ireland is one place that I've never been to. It's never dumb. been. It's a yeah. dump. Don't come. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. It, Northern Ireland is a hateful place. It's a no, hateful it is place. not. It is. The people are lovely. Um, but uh, do you know what? Northern There's Ireland was a hateful place. There's absolutely fantastic it's... places to go and visit in Northern Ireland. You've got the uh, Titanic Quarter for a start in Belfast. There's the Antrim the, Coast. The Antrim Coast yeah, North is Antrim Coast. stunning. It's stunning. Absolutely it's a beautiful. beautiful. Place. Um, Newcastle and County Downs are really nice place as well. Balamina yeah. is a dump. Uh, uh, well, you'll not get an argument out of me there. <laughs> well, that's that's in Brashian. Thanks for that, Mr. Casey. Yeah, uh, but what? Simon yes, Maggie, or... Giants Causeway. That's one thing I'd really like to see. Oh, no. I've seen that on the TV and I'd, I'd really like to see that. Well, you're a man that's into your motorbikes. Have you never ventured over here to go to the northwest? No, no. I mean, I've not had a bike for, what, about seven or eight years now. The last bike that I had was a, a Fireblade and, and I got rid of that and I've not, not had one since. Um, but I would love to do a tour. I used to watch uh, was it Billy Connolly when he did his, his tours yes. of Scotland and Ireland and Wales and when he was on the trike I thought that's that's my idea of heaven, be able to get on a trike and, and just do a tour of, of Ireland would be superb. I've been to, I've been to, um, I worked and did some work in Shannon so I've sort of been down the far end and stopped off in Dublin but that's the closest that I've ever, I've ever been. Well here's so. something for you Simon. hopefully is, well, it's looking more like 2020. Um, we're going to have the expo in Northern Ireland. Right. You're probably welcome to come. That sounds like a perfect we'll excuse. We'll get you a up in Belfast at the Titanic Exhibition Centre. Big, huge marquee. Um, we we'll try and get it filled up. A lot of help from um, American companies. Uh, okay. Nine vapes. I'm going to sort of looking to help us out. Um, Alex from Donut Dude, um, P Distro. So this and then they're hopefully going to get us into all the big companies. Yeah, no. It sounds like a perfect excuse to uh, to come over there. You'd be very, you'd be more than welcome. That stage will be absolutely huge, and Cardinal will be in every shop. Everywhere. Irish, you better off asking the Simon, I take it the printer is a 24 hour a day. Is that just constantly going? Yeah, so it's it's 21 hours to to print. Um, so it runs for 24. Uh, sorry, it runs for 21. Well, it's 21 and a half hours. So it has uh, what two and a half hours rest before. So it, 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 I used to do them two two up, so two at a time, and which was fourteen hours. And it never worked out quite right. You were sort of starting them at one time, and it was finishing at a, a silly time in the morning. So doing three at a go has worked out nicely because it just gives it that bit of uh, bit of downtime. And they need cut time to cool as well. So when they finish printing, it's, it sits on a on a heated bed, and that bed has to cool before you can take them off the off the bed. So it gives them a bit of time. So. <laughs> Hi, you're back. <laughs> Vic has just come in here and says, Roy, unplug your potato and plug in the actual router. <laughs> Hi, Vic. Oh, I love Vic. He's so funny. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, Sorry. Victor, how are you today? He is having very bad internet problems, isn't he? Roy, yeah. Um, they were supposed to have fixed his internet yesterday. Yes, I, uh, Roy was saying there about uh, trying to get an expo put on in Belfast. 
Um, and Irish vaping channel Shane, he's trying to get the uh, Vape Fest Ireland back to Dublin again. We went to one last year in Dublin and it was the most poorly advertised and poorly turned out vape event I've ever been to. Which one, Bonnie? The one in Dublin in July last year. Okay. We went to it and the, all the vendors that we met, that we spoke to, lovely, couldn't ask for better, but there was no, there had been no like prior advertising, you know, to tell people that the event was even on. I found out about it by accident because somebody emailed me about it um, and we went we went down for it. We had, we had a great day but there was hardly anybody there. I think there was probably maybe about 30 or 40 members of the public in the place. Who was organising it? Um, I can't remember the fellow's name but it was that bad that he even left. Uh, the doors opened at 12 o'clock and the organizer, along with the only hardware company that was there, had packed up and left by half one. Wow. There was no street presence outside the venue or anything to tell people that the event was on. You know, so it wasn't attracting passing traffic or anything. It was very <laughs> piss poorly organized. It, yeah, it yeah. had the potential to be so much better and it wasn't. It was just really, really bad. Hi, is you and Roy getting on with the one for here? For Belfast? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I let him sort of handle that side of things. But um, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be uh, probably two years' time before it'll happen. But uh, yeah, we're hoping to uh, try and get something in place that we can get plenty of advertising done for it and, you know, invite a few, uh, like, Especially the the more well known companies over here, it'll be you know it'll be a good showcase for a lot of local business as well. Yeah, I um, think the thing, Bonnie, Sam, and the thing with Northern Ireland is it's it's a bit like a but it's like an untouched untouched resource for right. vaping. The community yeah. here is huge, and but it doesn't get much. Uh, what's the word? Much sort of pub publicized. Public yeah, there's not a lot of sort of public presence. Public presence, yeah, among the sort of wider UK vape scene, and uh, for there to be at a, an expo here in Belfast would be fantastic because there's so many independent uh, B and M stores, and there's so many independent coil makers and juice makers uh, that don't get that sort of public recognition that could really give vape a boom, especially yeah. in here in Northern Ireland. But it's definitely a huge untouched resource. Well, that was why we wanted to put something on in Belfast because yeah. yeah, it's all well and good going over to you know the likes of Birmingham and London and places like that for uh, a lot of expos, but not everybody from Northern Ireland can do that traveling, so they're messing out. And it's not just Northern Ireland vapors in general; it's Northern Ireland vaping businesses as well don't get the opportunity to go to those bigger expos, so they're messing out too. Uh -huh. And that's why we wanted to do something. Because after that in Dublin, that had the potential to be so much more than it was, and a lot, all the vendors that were there were all American. I think there was maybe only two local vendors that was there. One was the custard company, and the other one was the Siggy shop. As you know, the Siggy shop's a big chain over here in Northern Ireland, so they they were there, and like I say, custard company, and the rest of the vendors that was all there were all American. So a lot of local shops and a lot of local traders missed out on a perfect opportunity for that. If there had been plenty of advertising, plenty of invites sent out, that could have been something pretty special. And it wasn't, and that's why we come up with the, the plan to try and get something and instead of going to Dublin for it, have it in Belfast, because there has never been any sort of vape expo at all in Belfast. There's been a few in Dublin now, but none in Belfast, and that's why we wanted to put it there. Do you think that the the failure of the one in Dublin, where you said there was a lot of American vendors there, mm -hmm. would that would that put them off for future expos? Because I'm sure they lost a lot of money. You they know, did. The, ex I, the expense of coming over. I've spoke to most of the ones that um, were at were there. Roy, that is amazing. Have you got the token <laughs> of visibility? <laughs> I know because you're looking, we're, looking, we're looking at an empty chair, but we can hear his voice. <laughs> um, yeah, my internet died, and I reboot it. So, but. Daniel, I've spoke to most of the vendors that were there, uh -huh. 
and as they, as long as they said, as long as they had a floor plan, and were shown what advertising was going to be taking place for it, they would then not have any issues. So that, well, that's good. We, as long as we were given the guarantees that it was going to be advertised properly, and a, a floor plan of what was what was being sold and what's not and everything else, then they won't have that issue. How far on are you now, Roy, with the? Is, is the is the plan still in progress, or have you made any more further progress, or where, what stage are you at? It's still all just in planning progress at the, at present. Is it still in your head, or is it has anything actually been laid out? A floor plan has been sent across to um, Alex for him to start working on, you know, designing it, um, designing what sort of spaces is needed and what size of pods. That's where we're at at the moment. But in the next two months, I intend to get everything to paper. Yeah. So we've 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 started the the process rolling. Uh, we haven't dates or anything like that confirmed yet. We're just trying to get the initial like um, you know floor plan and work out the costings, and then we can uh, sort out the dates from there. Brilliant. Oh, the link that I've just put in, by the way, folks, is for that. Is for those. <laughs> For what? We can't see it. We're just looking at your blank screen. Oh, Zan might kick me out and put me... Zan's, no, Zan's got me back in again. I'm, in, I'm on the stream. I'm on the stream, but we can't see you in the VC call. Well, I can see you. Oh, there he is now. For my Roy's Reviews plaque, the Ryan Mex, the blacks. Oh, I can see that hanging up on the wall behind you. Is anybody else really confused right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Because he's there on the on the actual cast, but he's not there on our screen. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not there on the VC. How are you doing that, Roy? Um, Megan, um, Philip has just sent me a picture of your next box. Oh, I need to get a picture. And of Megan Zan also says you have to speak. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the cast, Megan, but that's your next box. No, I can't see it. Have you got the YouTube cut stream up, Megan? Yeah. I don't because I'm using pop out chat. Um. How can we not see you on the call? I'll drop out and come back in again. Okay. <laughs> I'm at your. <laughs> Uh, no, Steve, Dave, no, Daniel's not allowed to go back to Dubai, it just fucks things up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point in me putting Actually, all that effort? Vic. Bye, Vic. Bye, Vic. Putting yeah, all that effort no into that fancy green screen. I'm not allowed to turn the bloody thing on. No. Right, Megan, now you can see me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, your postman's gonna hate you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not bringing you anything else ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Philip sent me that and said, "Show that to Megan." So. <laughs> good. Good luck with that, Megan. <laughs> Think I'm Is gonna you need it. We're gonna be doing reviews for the next little while. <laughs> yeah. I have not. I have nothing to review. Victor away again. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, he only popped in for a minute. He's having a break from recording, so he's away back to finish recording the WhatsApp. So what did I miss? Oh, no, nothing really. We were just talking about putting on the expo in Belfast because uh, I don't know if you knew or not, babe, but um, Shane, the Irish Vaping Channel, he was saying about trying to bring Vape Fest back to Dublin after last year's epic disaster. Uh, he's trying to make it a bit more successful next time round. Well, so giant vapes wouldn't go back to Dublin. No, but I'm I'm sure you know they could probably get someone else to. Uh, yeah, to help that. Yeah. Well, I spoke to Mike from Giant Giant Vapes, and he he would not go back to Dublin again. He says going to Belfast now is a completely different thing because at the minute they haven't broke into Northern Ireland, <coughs> they've got places in, in Southern Ireland and everything else. But he, he wouldn't go into Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is definitely a huge potential for him. Be a good opportunity to bring Corley over for the 
2019 Expo because you're keeping the cost of the stands down, aren't you? Yeah, it's everything about the whole the whole expo. Any money raised is going to be for charity. So I'm trying to keep the cost down for the punters to go in. I'm going to set that hopefully around the maximum of a fiver. Um, the cost for the, the stands will be will only be there to cover the cost of the expo. And what's going to be asked then of each of the vendors is to donate so a prize or prizes for a raffle. And then all the money raised during the raffle will be then going to charity. The biggest right. expense would probably be my appearance fee, but I'm sure we could work on that. <laughs> Who says you're invited? <laughs> You're bored. <coughs> it's, it's, it's okay, Daniel. We'll make sure that Maggie keeps you supplied in very hot tea. That my tongue is still burning from that. I haven't. I'm sitting there. I haven't touched it. A cup of lava. So you know that's, It's it's all about supporting two two charities, which is more neuron disease, and also the NNA. Yep. Which does the advocacy. For vaping, so I'd so, I'd definitely be up for for going for that. Um, for me, well, you'd be more, more than welcome. More than your own. And if somebody can put me up as well, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm sure there's just yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there'll be plenty of spare beds. <laughs> but, you know, we'll get you sorted. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll not be having to sleep in a cardboard box <laughs> under a bed. You'll be grand. I'll I'll get my spare room sorted. Perfect. And you can have that. So just sleep with one sleep with one eye open, Simon. <laughs> 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 no top and tails, though. I'm not doing that. National Vape Expo Dublin. Beer was in Galway. Vape Fest Ireland. I, I went to um, Vape Fest Ireland in 2015. In Dublin, it was at the, uh, the big football stadium. And it was brilliant. Very, very well done. That was where I first met Mr. Grim Green. Um, yeah, look at Megan's face. <laughs> yes, I yes I met Grim Green. He got my photograph taken with him and everything. He's a lovely, lovely guy, and that that was absolutely brilliant. So when we heard about this other one in Dublin last year, we thought, yeah, you know, if it's anything like what the the Vape Fest was in 2015, this should be good. Uh, we walked in the door, and it, you could have been around it and back out again in 10 minutes. It was like that. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. <laughs> so, we've just been given her five minute warning. So, just at, at this point, I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to Simon for joining us this afternoon and coming up for the whole three hours. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. The thanks are all mine. It's been an absolute pleasure being here. Absolutely loved it. Um, and a great group of people you are. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Stop it, you're making me blush. If you're free <laughs> here tonight, um, you're, you're very welcome um, to come on Wednesday night show as well with Zombie UKN. Yeah, Wednesday night I should be, I'm over in Manchester two days, but I should be back by uh, back by Wednesday evening, yeah, so that'd be, that'd be really it's good. Six, it's eight till ten. Yeah, that'd be fine. Um, so you're very welcome to come on to it. That's just, you know, there's some of the ones you'll see in chat that you'll see back in the UKM, but there's, you know, it's just a different audience as well. Um, so you're definitely, definitely more than welcome to come on to that. I'd love to. Just when I'm, I'm plugging things and everything. Yeah, Simon, plug. up Irish, Grand Slam, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Simon, I couldn't resist that one. Are you a rugby fan, Simon? Uh, no, I'm not. I, I was a fan. I used to play rugby a lot at school, and I enjoyed playing rugby at school. But I've never, I've never watched it. Um, football? I, no, absolutely not. I, I'm not a football fan at all, which is shameful, I know. But no, there's nothing shameful about it. <laughs> not a thing. That's See, it. Roy's I'm, gone I'm a, now. Yep, I'm a <laughs> speed freak. I'm a speed freak. I prefer uh, wheels and an engine. Thank you very much. Do you know? I'm exactly the same. I, I watch. I used to watch F1 a lot more than I do now. No, uh, one of the ones crap. Yeah, it's it's gone right off. I'm a road racer between the hedges. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's nothing as satisfying as standing there at the start line of a motorbike race and you've got, uh, you know, thirty motorbikes all engaged in first gear at the one time. It just puts chills down your spine. It's amazing. I was always a big fan of the British superbikes rather than the, the sort of GP stuff. The British superbikes yeah. were always the one that. Uh, yeah, the one that did it. BSB is far, far yeah. better than yeah. MotoGP. MotoGP is like the bike and equivalent of Formula One. It's just boring. That's it. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. Thank you, big guns. 
I had to queue up the live shows. It might be my thing. Yeah, because nobody nobody subscribes to my bloody channels. But um, I also you don't pimp them, dear. Yeah, I know. I also have to. I also have to thank um, Megan for joining again. Joining us again this afternoon. And um, what well, Megan was here? Jesus, she was up, up and quiet. <laughs> well, hey, burn, keep the noise down next time. <laughs> uh, I also like to thank um, Mr. Casey for making an appearance this afternoon. It's a thousand funny, it's just me and you on the show. He doesn't want anything to do with it. As soon as we get a big name like Simon coming on, he has to I know, right? I, 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 know I, right? I, I wanted to come in and meet Simon, but I really did. It's been very good to meet you. You too, buddy. You too. And, Bunny, thank you for hosting, for hosting tonight. For joining you on cast, you mean? Yeah, that too. The big, and, thanks, the big thanks of the day do have to go to Zan, though. A big, massive thanks to Zan as well. He always sits there in the background and... Doesn't doesn't like getting his face on camera, but keeps us entertained with dodgy five minute warnings. <laughs> <laughs> and but the biggest, another big, massive, massive thank you to everybody in chat. Um, without you guys, there'd be no point of us sitting here on a Sunday afternoon. And um, I agree more. You know, he's fully interactive today, and I think it's absolutely fantastic with the amount of chat that's gone through there. And there's so much love out there for the college hill for the ones who have it. Well, it's very much appreciated. Daniel? <laughs> I will I will have mine. Do you want to get the link back in the chat before we go for the Coily group? Yep. So we'll put the Coily, Coily Tools link there, folks. Make sure you go over to the Facebook and subscribe to it. And also follow him on Twitter. He's very active on Twitter as well, so it is good to see. And also put in Nature Vapes, which, does ha which is also going to supply them as well. So they will hopefully books in the next few months be readily available within the shops. Make sure you all get out there and buy them. So the next show from us on Vapeline um, GNI will be Wednesday night at half six. All saying I finished work. Thank you, Sloan. Thank you, Sloan. Um, and Monday night, BUKN, six to eight. Vapeline Brew and Steve Dave. I know, Zan. I've still got one minute. I've still got one minute. Um, then you've got Bad Connection, Monday night. You've got Tuesday night. You've got Last of Summer Bay. Wednesday night, you've got... <laughs> Wednesday night, you've got um, The Grumpies. Thursday night, you've got Vic on his channel. Friday night, you've got Big of East Wick. And Froggy Friday. Froggy Friday. So, folks, make sure you tune into all the channels. Keep us all entertained. And until next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where are you watching? Bye! Thank you. Bye! Bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs>